morning, YouTube. Tire Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Tried to do this weekend forecast last night, but I was having a lot of issues with my computer. There's a few th new things I was trying to tr add to the channel, but didn't work out, so I'm probably not going to mess with it tonight. Hopefully, I can get it all figured out soon because it'll make life a little bit easier, both for me and really for the viewing, viewing audience as well. That being said, let's go ahead and get into it right now. This is also why I have it slotted as a weekend forecast towards Friday night, Saturday morning, in case these kinds of things happen, because they can and often do. Anyway, the big topic of this weekend is mainly going to be the record cold across the Northeast and the Northern Plains. We have a lot of uh, single digit to even uh, below zero temperatures, especially across the northeast towards the Atrandax. We're dealing with uh, temperatures near negative 31, which is crazy. We're hoping that uh, we weren't going to have to deal with this kind of problem after the uh, Christmas freeze that we had. But unfortunately, we can't we uh, we weren't able to escape this one. <clears throat> but that being said. This isn't going to be a long-lasting type of deal because while today will be cold across this region, by the time we move into the afternoon, we'll be back into the positive temperatures for a lot of these regions. Maine looks like is the only it's going to be you that's the only place that stays below zero the whole day, unfortunately. So I'm sorry about that for you guys. Also, I have some pretty moderately cold temperatures over here across the uh, Rocky Mountain Range and Sierra Nevada, too. We are expecting some snow to drop here. There is a little bit of snow expected here, but it's going to be relatively light in nature. We'll get into the totals in just a minute. <clears throat> and even across the southeast here, if we look back towards like this morning, where I live, we're, we're at like 28, 29 degrees right now. It's pretty frigid. But fortunately, by the time we get late into the day, we're getting into 47. We're getting into the 40s here, closing in on 50, which is great. But um, the mornings are going to be pretty cold. Sunday morning is a little bit better. Uh, the cold, the real cold air now seems to start to shift a little bit further towards the west now. We have uh, our uh, negative PNA setup starting to take place here. And we're going to start to be on a warming trend on this half of the country. Notice as we get towards uh, Sunday morning... We have Maine getting out of the negative temperatures, actually getting right to the freezing mark or just below it. And as we go forward, that cold air looks like it tries to settle back in for Monday, stay north of the border, and then eventually this there will be a ridge that starts to take place here, and this will ultimately lead to what will be an eventful midweek next week. So that being said, let's look at the wind chills because that's going to be a big thing. So one thing to note here is, of course, the wind chills are going to be really extreme across this part of the region. As we're seeing the negative 30 degree air temperature, usually with that, the wind chill is colder. Towards far northern Maine, towards areas like Mount Washington, we're seeing temperature or we're seeing wind chills, excuse me, of negative 51 Fahrenheit. That's crazy. Frostbite would occur in minutes. There's wind chill warnings across this region, surely. So please Please, if you don't have to go out today, don't do it. Make sure you're bundled up really well. Make sure you're warm in the house because this is not the type of cold you want to mess with. And then, then of course, with a hard freeze warning like this, you also want to be able to make sure those water faucets are dripping. And if you have any outdoor water faucets, it would probably be probably have been best to have shut those off. Hopefully you did so before now. And these uh, negative wind chills are stretching across a large part of the northeast. Ohio Valley's in there as well, and of course the northern plains. Not quite as severe as what we're seeing here, but still negative 10, negative 11 frostbite still occurs within minutes if uh, any bare skin is exposed. And even across the uh, southeast here, we're dealing with uh, wind chills of about 20 degrees. Some and over towards Tennessee, the Tennessee Valley here, we're starting to get into those single digits. Thankfully, we'll be warming up throughout the day, and soon this won't be a factor. By the time we get into Sunday, those negative wind chills are starting to leave. 
and everybody looks like they're going to be above, at least above zero by the time we get to Monday morning, thankfully. But now that we've looked at that, let's take a look at the precip part. And the precip is actually going to be the most quiet. It's going to be the uh, least active here, thankfully. It kind of sucks in a way because me personally, if I were to have cold weather, I would like to at least see some snow. Maybe not ice or sleet, but I'd like to see snow. It's not quite as hazardous. But I just don't like brutally cold. I don't think anyone does. But that being said, we move through Sunday. Our next system comes in across the uh, northwest and into the Rockies, dropping uh, moderate to heavy snow for the mountain tops. But over towards the valleys, we're mostly going to see scattered periods of rain. Not much more than that. Towards Florida, there could be a little bit of action this weekend, mainly towards Sunday. Saturday, it looks like it's going to be pretty quiet as we can see here so we move this to Sunday here's our uh, storms our pop-up showers and storms popping up I'd say right around uh, early afternoon mid-afternoon hours but just as quickly as it comes in it heads on out of here and then Monday we're dry again but, so now that we've seen that let's go ahead and finally take a look at our wintry weather totals it's not gonna be a whole lot there so here's a look at what we could be seeing in regards to snowfall totals. Across the northeast, not a whole lot to go with. Storm system is going to be mainly based well north of the border. Not a whole lot of moisture associated with this. is almost like an Alberta Clipper type system. And as a result, with the lack of moisture and uh, dynamics, we aren't going to really get much in the way of snow. A lot of places could see up to maybe about an inch, maybe a little bit more like an inch and a half at some places. Even towards the Great Lakes, we're not going to be expecting a whole lot like we were previously. It's mainly going to be towards the west, towards the mountain ranges where we expect that big time snow. We could see some spots over towards the Sierra Nevadas getting up to about two feet. Some places even getting close to three, three feet in a couple of pockets. But for the most part, foot seems to be the, uh, the uh, general average that we're going to be getting here. There's a potential across a couple of the valleys where we could see about an inch of snow, but not too much beyond that. But uh, many places, especially towards the higher elevations, we could see a foot. Lower in the uh, elevation we get, we start to see those uh, three to six inches, two to four inches range. And this is pretty much going to be all across the board, even when we look at the blend of models here. And this looks like it just finished updating too. In fact, the totals are even less with this. Not unexpected with this model. It usually blends all the data together, of course, hence the name. But it's a pretty similar look. Uh, two to three feet across the Sierras. And then across the northwestern mountains over towards Oregon, Washington, we're seeing about maybe three to five inches, maybe three to six inches. A couple of pockets where it's going to be higher, maybe about nine inches to about a foot. And then across the rest of these, it's a pretty similar situation. Across the northeast, very scattered pockets of snow. Maybe somebody could see about one to two inches over towards the UP of Michigan. But other than that, most of the action looks like it either stays north of the border or just misses the U.S. completely here. But that's pretty much the weekend forecast here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, of course, you know what to do. Drop a like button. Uh, drop a like or hit the like button, so to speak. And if you haven't done the double click, like and subscribe, definitely do that, of course. So that being said, it's been Tired Metalhead Weatherman. I'll have a video for you guys this evening. You guys take care and have a good weekend.